Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Nekme Obasoge, reporting from Toronto, Canada. And today I have a very special guest with me in the studio, a Nigerian Canadian leader, Anson Achibo. He lives here in Toronto, originally from Cross River State in Nigeria. He was the president of Aqua Cross and the former pro and chairman of board of directors of Nigerian Canadian Association, NCA, in Toronto, Canada. Hello, leader Achibo. Uh, good afternoon, uh, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, it's good once again to be here with you uh, to discuss some few issues about what is going on in those uh, state and Nigeria, and in general, what is going on in Nigeria as a whole. And, Thank you. Uh, we should listen to us, and then we maybe we learn a lesson and learn one thing from the from each other. Thank you for joining us today, uh, Leader Achibo. I know that uh, you are from uh, Calabar, Cross River State, and you are here today to pledge your support to Governor Obaseki. What motivated you to be supporting Governor Obaseki, even though you are not uh, an Edo citizen? Uh, one thing, like I continually say all the time, is that I love positive people. Uh, they have been a time everybody believe in oppressing others and doing things the way they like. I believe uh, in, in announcing the good part of anybody and also announcing the bad part, if I notice it. I realized that uh, Governor Baseke is very positive and touching the lives of people of a do state. So it's a thing of joy to emulate him, to congratulate him to show him that he's not only the Edo people alone, it is his uh, grassroots reaching out to people touches mm -hmm. all lives. Because if you come to Edo state, it's not only indigenous of Edo that mm -hmm. are lives in Edo state. There are people from Cross River, Kwaibum, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, all across, both Nigerians yes. and non-Nigerians. And mm -hmm. in doing things, he was not selective and he is not still selective. selective he does yeah. things that benefit each and every one. So that motivated me and really, really attracted my attention to him. Hmm. Yeah. So you, are, you live here in Toronto, Canada. How will your support impact his re-election? In Nigeria, given that you cannot vote for Governor Obaseke? Uh, definitely. Uh, there are some of the uh, Governor Obaseke groups that I joined myself. By joining those groups myself, I have so many Edo friends. Like I will tell somebody, where yeah, where yes, sir, all those things I've done. Ah! <laughs> Languages I, 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 I learned from my Edo friends. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, my support for him cuts mm -hmm. across. I have so many friends that are from Edo that mm -hmm. I had to share the information, the good news of him. Also mm -hmm. telling them things I realized and some of them realizing that as a non-indigenous of Edo, realizing that things like this is happening, gave him support. I helped to spread that information. I don't really need to be there, but the information I have been spreading to some people that are from Edo, they also pass it on to their family members, also has been very, very helpful. That's another moral area that I know I could help. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Even those of us who are Edo citizens uh, here in diaspora, uh, we can't vote. We are not eligible to vote. It's still the same thing that we are doing, that we are connecting with people back home uh, to ensure that they vote for Governor Obaseki. Thank you so much for supporting him, even though you are not an adult citizen. So my next question here is, uh, how will how will the re-election of Governor Obaseki affect other states and the democracy in Nigeria? You see, when people talk about uh, revolution, revolution sometimes is not until you carry play cards, until you go on street or you go with arms to revolt. Sometimes 
revolution is like exactly what is happening in a do state now. Now in a do state, you realize that even politicians in Nigeria who thought that all that they believe is in giving money to people, a do mm. indigenous has revolted against that issue. You see that there are so many people who don't care whether you want to give them one million, one billion. They don't care. All they know yes. is. Everyone says what is Obaseke. Everybody is revolting and saying, we are not interested about your money mm. anymore. Enough of this buying of votes. You go there, you call yourself mm. politician, you promise doing things, and you go there, you don't do anything. You just go there and be taking money and taking money without doing every project. Now we want to prove to the whole world, prove to the people, prove to democracy in Nigeria that people mm. can stand up and revolt against a government that is not good. It's not until they go on the street and fighting. We can do it the way the people of the state state are doing. Uh, maybe believe in, in, in spending money like other politici politicians believe that when it is time for election, we can buy votes. Mm. But the Edo people are now proving that that should be a thing of the past. Why? Pass. Because they are everybody from the market woman to the truck pusher to the psychologist to the pastors to doctors, nurses, lawyers, call it whatever name you are, you can call it, are benefiting one way or the other from all the grassroots works that uh, Governor Baseke has been doing. Let's take it this way. Uh, Oshomole was gov governor eight years ago. Now he's not more governor. All the entourage that whenever he wants to go to something, you will clear the road. President of a country. But now what Obaseke is doing is for posterity's sake that, okay, tomorrow when I'm not more the governor mm -hmm. of the Edo state, I will have a good road to drive. It's not going to be entourage of people flying for me alone to pass. But that time, nobody will remember whether you were there. Nobody will even know you are movement. Because from street to street, you can't fly on planes from street to street. Mm -hmm. So if he does all these things, put the schools in place, his own children, grandchildren, even his friends' children, not all of them is going to be able to help. But by putting all these things in place, will one way or the other touch every life. And that is why the Edo people revolted in the way they are revolting. That's why I said the mm -hmm. issue of exhausted is an indirect way of revolution where they have said, we don't care about who comes to give us money. What we care about is who has done a good job to touch our lives. And we want to stand by this man in every aspect to make sure he is being reelected so that he will continue and clean up the job he has finished for another person to come over. Like where we are here in Canada and US, definitely it's not one person that finishes whatever we are enjoying today. It's one person will do his own. After that, another person will come up and do. And then continuously, until the whole places are being done, all they are doing now is maintenance. That is exactly what Obaseke is doing. And that is one of the reasons why I really, really support him. Uh, uh, sometimes some of the leaders take advantage. Take, for instance, Oshomole. The first uh, four years or then about, there have been a lot of things that were not done in a do state. He came to a do state, did so many things, and people loved him. And that love is what people extended to him. And that is why everywhere he goes, you will be seeing people calling him Oshoba, Oshoba, by cheering him up because when yeah. he now wanted to leave, he brought somebody in and said, this man is going to continue from where I stopped and do even more better than what I did. And yeah. the truth was that the man is doing exactly what he yeah. expected of him. And now he took advantage of it thinking that the people are now foolish, that the people of Edo State doesn't think or reason. Now he says, this man should be out. And Edo people say, no, you gave us something good. Why mm. do you want to come and take it away from us and bring something you told us already that is not mm. good and you want us to come and rely on that? Because I believe he himself thought that the caring and the support people were giving him, everybody is going to switch with him to wherever he goes. He the does. human being, uh, as we are, our brain yeah. works and the people are enjoying what Obaseke is doing. And they say, my friend, 
yes, we love you, but now yeah. we want to spoil that love with what you are doing. No, we are not following you. We want to stick with what you have given to us that is good for us. And mm. he himself should regret why he's doing what he is doing. Because he promised a do people or Basse, because when I listen to all his tapes, he promised the do people that Obaseke will do great things for a do. And Obaseke respected that promise that he gave to him in the prob in the public. And he's doing that, he's supposed to even be happy. And like I continue telling my friends, Oshumolik oh, could have been one of the best uh, godfathers in the do state because the person he brought out was really keeping to the promise, keeping to what he promised the people of Edo State that he did. Make people to even trust him that say, oh, this man gave us somebody good and this man is, is not even playing around like other politicians. They will give tell you something mm -hmm. just to get in there. When they get there, they yeah. now will do their... Yeah. Okay, this man is still respecting yeah. the fact that you told us in, in the public that this man is going to be good to Edo people. He's going to build hospitals, build pro do projects, and he's doing it. Of which, all his life as a politician, people could have been respecting him anytime he brings out somebody and say, I want this person, people could have trusted him. He yeah, allowed too yeah. much ego yeah. to spoil the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So the, the love was, uh, uh, Baseke gave back to him by respecting what he promised the people of Baseke is going to do. And now he allowed too much ego to, to take it away from him. You have said it all, sir. You have said it all. He says that you have been following the trend with what you just explained. You said it all. You know, Adam Soshomole introduced Governor Obaseki to the Edo people. Okay, so now that the Edo people, the masses, they are all in love with uh, Governor Obaseki's uh, work in the state. After a while, the same person that introduced Governor Obaseki is turning against him again, telling Edo people, how can that be possible? So Edo people are wise, okay? You cannot just go and shove things to their throats. They are saying no. Like what you said, that uh, it's like a political revolution right yeah. now in Edo states. That uh, the masses, is between the masses, I would say, between the masses, and a few politicians in Edo State. The masses are saying that uh, Godfatherism must end in Edo State. They are supporting Governor Obaseki. Why few politicians in the state who are supporting Adan Sushomole are saying, no, 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 Governor Obaseki needs to come and settle us. Otherwise, it will be a barricade, it will be a barrier to his re election. That is exactly what is going on in those states. If I may add a little here, if mm. somebody like uh, uh, Isai Yamu thought a little wiser on his own part, he could have not followed what Oshomole is doing because Oshomole has come out to call him a, a, a courtist. Say that somebody that holds the Bible in the morning and uh, holds AK-47, showing him to be uh, uh, somebody who is a violent individual. And now he brought you out and he's coming to prove it that you are violent because in your own section in APC now, that you are, everything you are planning is violent. So now he wants to condemn to the whole world that look, I told you people that this man is a violent person. He is really a violent person. You could have cleared your name by saying, no, I, I can, I, uh, Yamu can still rule, uh, lead a, do a do state. If only he said, okay, you know what, I let this election be peaceful, as peaceful as to prove that I'm not a violent person. He can come out to contest like, a, like as a senator, first of all, to clean his name, be a senator, use that opportunity to make this his senatorial district people to see him in a different aspect then when people see him in a different aspect he helped them do a lot of things in his senatorial district that makes people say oh what this man said against him is wrong because even up till now Oshimule has not even said uh, is a yamu is not a violent person he only said that he is now a repented person that means what he said about him still stands so how can a do people now trust that kind of a person? You say, please allow him. He is now a repented person. He will not do. You didn't tell us that that man. What you told us about him is wrong. 
or that he is not. You are telling us that he is a repented person. So how are we sure he's repented? And repented, everybody is planning about violence. Every place in a good state, everybody is afraid of violence. So what makes him repented? Repented. And then you know? that means you are he's still standing that phone and you are now proving to a do people that I told you this man is a violent person. Look at it here. He said Yamu himself could have said, No, I will let this election to be very free and fair and without violence, so that history will not hold me down. That this man called me a violent person, mm. a cultist, and all those things. Mm. Man with AKS of 47 pouring acid on people, and now during this election, that is the same thing ha that happened. He is killing Isa Yamu's uh, political career. He, ha he has been a governor, he has been a member, uh, chairman of the APC. Mm. What Isa Yamu still have more political career? The best thing for him to do is to use this election to use this election to clean his name and make his name a reputable in a person yeah. in those states and Nigeria as a Okay. Like what you just said now, uh, Mr. Daniel, uh, we always do this political analysis on Nebo TV every day. Mr. Daniel from a, a Dose said uh, the only problem he has with uh, he said, Yamo is the fact that he went back to Adan Soshomule, the same person that that destroyed your record in a those state you went back to him and treating him as your godfather right now uh people are saying that this upcoming election is like a election between adam Soshomole and governor obaseki because adam Soshomole is playing the role of a candidate adam Soshomole, who is not a candidate will be nearly done begging a those citizens for votes why is there yamu who is the candidate will be sitting down staring at Adam Soshomole. So people are confused. What is this? It's getting too much. Like what you just said, that it's like a revolution right now in a dose that the masses are saying enough is enough for this idea of godfatherism in this state. The issue here is Oshomole mm. himself, I believe, mm. has not really understood that he has killed his political career. He's not good. Because even if, let's assume paraventure, uh, Isa Yamu will. Isa Yamu will not trust him. All Isa Yamu is not going to allow people that are loyal to Osomole to be in his government with what he has seen Osomole doing to Obasi. Yes, exactly. He will make sure that the people that are not, because he wouldn't want no position in his government, he will want to make sure he's, he's sidelined them. All these aburos that Obaseke killed and removed from uh, try to remove from he, 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 how can he allow even Oshomole to introduce him to all the same people that were violent people that when he's done? Definitely, Isa Yamu will want to be a man of his own because he won't want what to pass to who if Oshomole uh, Baseke upon all the things uh, Bas Oshomole has done to him has never mm -hmm. insulted Osamu Oshomole. How about Isa Yamu during last election was saying so many things about Oshomole? So how do, does he even expect that Isa Yamu will respect him? He, was, he, he, he means the target. He means the yes, most that... loyal, humble servant, if I may call it so, in the place mm. of uh, Obaseke. Honestly, I, sometimes you talk about people being patient. Obaseke is such a patient, humble man. Uh, those people, I believe, really, really has seen the, 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 the favor of God in him and sees that they uh, don't need to move forward. And you wouldn't be surprised that, uh, to me, I still feel that so many people that are following Isa Yamu at this moment are even just getting, trying to get more his money out of him. You will notice that that day, a lot of them will even abandon him and go their way because they know exactly that the Edo people are ready for anything. And the Edo people want peace and they want a do to move forward. A lot of them are just making noise. These politics get money. And you will see that day when it's time to even rule voting. You will see so many of those people will not even vote for him. So many of those people that are following him here, when is that after they know after election, what else? Is he coming to their houses to beat them or do what? They will just move on and then yes. make sure that Obasi yes. and then help the people of Edo State and move Edo State forward so that other states will emulate from what is happening in the Edo State. The, the peaceful revolution of change of government to make sure that 
nobody feels he or she or whoever mm. is the owner of political scenarios in Nigeria. Because uh, in, okay, if you ask Oshimode, is that Yamu me? So that means during is that Yamu too, if he doesn't do what Oshimode wants, Oshimode will also come and say, you should be out of that. Well, does it work? No, it doesn't. So what is happening in the Do state, honestly, is a very good example to show Nigerians that and show leaders that Nigerians are getting wise that they need he who is there for them. Not need somebody who gives them one naira today and the next one four years they will be hungry with their mm. family. Mm. No, they need somebody who will do anything that will touch each and every one of the family. Even those people supporting Ize Yamu, a lot of their children are also benefiting from all these good schools, all these uh, modern schools, all these hospitals, every good road in the state. They are also enjoying it. So they know now, and all other Nigerians will also live, now understand that this is the new way to go. When mm. you do well, the people will support you. Come rain, come sun, the people will be ready to fight for you. You know that it's not easy for Governor Obaseki right now, sir. It's not very uh, easy for him. Well, you see, you it's not know, easy for him. No, no, no. You see, we may think it's not easy, like I mentioned. Mm. Don't be surprised that so many of those guys following mm. Izayamu are just noise makers. When is that they, they will disappoint him? They, they, they see where the wind is blowing. They see that the, the wind of righteousness is blowing mm. this side. Why should they go to the to the mm. other side that the, the hurricane of unrighteousness is going? They will want to follow him and say, man, you know, we thought we wanted to we, we wanted to close our eye, but we are not closing our eye. In Nigeria, even here where we are, that is why people still contest election every year. There is nobody who says if you are a poor man and then you have an opportunity to be elevated by God to win election and all those, you should go back home poor. But why can't the Nigerian situation be like here where if you have a project of one million naira and you collect 10 million or 20 million naira, you make sure that you use that one million or 1.5 to do those things that you collected. People, yes. human beings are not difficult to, to be satisfied. Just do a little that they come out and they see what to eat. They have some way to sleep and it's peaceful. Honestly, they don't care how much you are being paid. All they need is what have you done to toy them their life? And yes. that is exactly what also is doing. He 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 knows the he knows the the ethics of what it takes to get to the grassroots. Like he's he's a deputy. He knows what it means to let the grassroots have something, not people that take one naira today, in the next four years, nothing. But people want, wherever they are going on the street, they have a good road, they have light. Like me and you are here. All the constructions, constructions we see everywhere on the road, they are all being awarded to people. Oh, yes. You see politicians in the Western world don't gain anything from politics. They wouldn't be spending their time and contesting election every year, year after year. They have things they're gaining from it. They, they make sure that the masses are being cared for. So because of that, the masses are not even bothered of whatever they are. I'm telling you as a, 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 a security expert, I'm telling you as somebody who, has, who knows exactly what I'm talking about, they can challenge anywhere. They are not doing it because, oh, they just want to contest election. They have a lot of things they are benefiting from it. But what they make sure is anything that is meant for the people, if it's one dollar that is meant for the people, they try to make sure that they, they squeeze out two dollars so that the people will get what they want. And they, and that is exactly what Obaseke is doing. He makes sure that the grass will, everybody is like I, may, I call about it, that no governor has shared uh, a do money like Obaseke. Obaseke shared a do money to make sure even every small person, school, everybody, the money mm. meant for the state, he shared it to make sure everybody has uh, their yes. own portion. Everybody yes. enjoy their own portion, not taking the whole money and give to few it's people, people believing that during election those people will come and fight for you and, uh, and, and cause confusion for you to win election. And then the 90% of you or 95% of others are, are hungry. But Obaseke knows the, what it makes to get a hungry person to eat. 
to have a child that could have been at home, not in school, to be in school and be in a school where the child has, they are talking about laptop. Every children in a do state now knows mm. what laptop is. They mm. know all what iPad is. Yes, Don't see yes. it as a dream when they see somebody coming from overseas, seeing my children or your children going to Nigeria with iPad. They will be mm. looking at them as, oh, if these people come. No, now they also know what it means. Mm. So tell yes. me why they won't tell their parents to vote for plastic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just tell me, you, you go mean, to the yes. federal government, you go pension, as nobody is dying again in, in the position of trying to get their money. So tell me why if somebody's conscience will not tell him that at least even I don't get one billion every year, then at least I get what what is, what is meant for me. And he makes it possible. And when he goes to sleep, he sleeps with good conscience because he knows that, that people are giving him good prayers and blessing him. For, because anytime somebody gets his pension, oh, God bless or basically, God bless. That prayer is not a small prayer. It, yeah. a lot. it means a lot. Exactly. When 200 exactly. or two, two, 10 million Edo people every day say God bless, that is 10 million prayers to God for one person. And he realizes it that what makes him to get those blessings and what we are talking about, this political revolution, I may call it in a dose, is what he has done. And I wish other governors and other leaders in Nigeria should emulate these things and know that what you need yeah, I'm to it, get people stand for you is to let the people have what they deserve. Yeah, I'm letting it. Other states in Nigeria. Uh, you know, came into all this uh, uh, Edo pests that Governor Obaseki implemented in Edo State, even other countries in Africa. Edo citizens are too wise. They are just too wise for one politician to, to throw things at their throats. They are saying no to this idea of godfatherism, especially that the Governor Obaseki I told the adult people that the only problem he's having with Adam Sochomole is the fact that he refused to share adult money with so a few with individuals. <laughs> so because of that, adult people say, oh, okay. Ah, there's never a time we will. You yeah. see, because all, all I have been following up in all this adult political scenario going on, I have not really heard a particular thing or Somole or Rizayamu has really said to the people to convince me who is even non Edo why Obaseke should not return. Thank you. I have not seen anything that they say, oh, this is the wrong thing he has not done. This is something he has not done for the state. And I have not really seen. You see, like we, I am from Cross River. Our uh, former governor, Donald Duke. How many years now Donald Duke left office? People of Cross River are still respecting him because of something like this. He came, he made sure that everybody enjoyed the state. Every individual, whether you are from a Cross River or you are a visitor or a foreigner, everybody enjoyed mm. Cross River State. And that's exactly what Ostrom mm. is doing. To make sure that everybody <laughs> enjoys a those state. And I wish the next person that will carry up from him too, God will let him be somebody who will even do better than what he has done. <laughs> I will tell you one story right now. It's very ironic, very, very ironic. A few weeks ago, Adam Soshemule apologized to Edo people for introducing Governor Obaseki to them. That uh, he's so sorry. Uh, he never knew that uh, Governor Obaseke would come and destroy those states. Is that not ironic? Thank you, Adam Soshomule, for introducing a messiah to us in those states. Yeah, if he, if he, if he introduced a bad person to those people, we, that is good. That is extremely very good for him to introduce or Baseke as a bad person to a good people. But the good people now thank him and say, we embrace that bad person you gave to us. Leave it for us. Have we come to complain and say we don't want him? We love the bad people we, you gave to us. So please, let, let us be with this bad person. So now, how are you assuring us that the next person you are going to be, bring to us is not going to be worse than the bad person? Let us have yeah. this bad person because what this bad person you call that is bad to you, they say one man's meat is another man's poison. Down that this one is a poison to you. It is a meat to us. Because he has really done what we never expected a governor will do for us. 
So leave it for us. We love him. We love it. And that is exactly why Oshomole was being really, really praised all along. That made him believe that he can switch anybody at any time. Because the time. He brought up Obaseke. Yes. And Obaseke did things people love. So he now believed that, okay, after all, if I tell the people again, that, why, that time I hear any place you go, Oshomole go, people were sharing him, Osho Baba, Osho Baba, mm -hmm. sharing him, uh, 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 respecting him. So mm -hmm. maybe he thought with that, that a dog yeah. people could just yeah. be a, a, a swim yeah. over at any time. He, he he know. Him, that is not the That could even be a good thing for him, that he brought somebody who is even doing better than what he did. Because each every one of us who has a child, the essence of having a child, if you are a millionaire, you want your child to be a billionaire. So for him to have done few things to a dope people, and then he brought somebody who is even doing better than what he did, could have even been a very big plus to him. It could have been a very big plus to him that, oh, the person I brought, see, anytime he goes to a dope in any function, when he mentioned people will cheer him and stand up and give him standing ovation for bringing a good governor. It could have been a, who even did over, did what he did. And then uh, Baseke could have been praying, will be praying to, to bring somebody who will do better than him. So that they, that you have a, a, a house, you want your son to, or your child to have a mansion. You won't say because you have a house, you want your child to have a tash house. No, you want your child to have a mansion. That's why you train the child. You want the child to be better off than what you were. Yeah, exactly. Were. Uh, yes. I'm supposed to be very happy. And he could have been one of the best people Edo and Nigeria could have been respected for bringing somebody who will become a messiah to the Edo people. Exactly, exactly. Because of his uh, idea of God for that reason, he can't even uh, see the differences between right and wrong anymore. He don't listen to the voice of the people. And uh, moreover, it's because of his uh, selfish interest. His selfish interest. He believes that he can bring his uh, yam to fulfill his political aspiration in a dual state. Unfortunately, it's not working for him right now. When you look at the history of Nigeria, the idea of God for that reason, has not been working for, for the politicians in the country over these years. Look at Tunubu today. It's planning to run for the 2023 that, uh, that presidential election. Dream. That would yes. be the worst dream of his life, is, except if they yeah. really want to do it and rig. But if they want to rig it, no matter how they want to do it too, the what is starting now in the Edo state, this revolu political revolution in the Edo state will take over in Nigeria where everybody will say, no, not Tinubu. We yeah. just have vote for another person. We are not going to allow nobody is here, except yeah. nobody will be allowed see? anybody to 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 mm -hmm. nobody is going to hold and nobody is going to fight. But what people will be doing during campaign, people will be campaigning against him winning election and make sure that nobody rig the election or carry ballot boxes for him to make sure that because that is that is the the the, the worst thing that he can think about. Yeah. If, if, if whatever he has done in Lagos, that means Nigeria will be a collapsed state. Exactly. It is. Yes. Will be worse than what it is now for Tinubu to be president. I don't think God will hate Nigeria to that stage. I don't yes. think God hate Nigeria people to the stage of allowing Tinubu to be the president of Nigeria. Uh, uh, exactly. So people are saying instead of Tinubu to become the president of Nigeria, let's just support Atiku Abubakar. You know, even though the Northerners have been ruling Nigeria for for years now. But they said they would prefer Atiku Abubakar over Tunubu just because of the record of Godfather racing that he created for himself. That's why we say whatever you are doing today will come back tomorrow to haunt you. Will come back tomorrow to haunt you. Like Adam Soshomole now, he has no place to go anymore because no. he was he was sacked as the national chairman of APC, uh, as the former governor of Edo State. Nobody respects him. He comes to the state. Sometimes he will even sneak sneak to Edo State at night. A whole former governor of his state. It's just because of greed. Yes. Greed. Selfishness. Yeah. 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 That thing they say you want plenty, you get nothing. That is exactly what is happening to us. Yes. Exactly. But even in his dream, tell him that uh, Isa Yamu will be loyal to him the way Osho Obaseke was to him. Even in his wildest dream, can't you tell that person no? With no wisdom. That's what we are saying now. 
It's not applying wisdom to some of his activities. No, it's ash, it's ashes. No what wisdom. Like Kabaka, so called Kabaka. When you have doubts like that, uh, surrounding somebody that somebody has already called, uh, a called this somebody with AK 47, somebody who poor acid, and then you have all these criminal people mm. with no good names, if I may Is put it that way. And that social mole himself told the adult people that Isaiah Yamu is a criminal. He is yeah. under the investigation of ESCC. So I said Isaiah Yamu was a courtist when he was in school. He poured acid. Everybody, he so confused himself that he doesn't really know what he's doing. Following the adult politics, I know that he's just so confused. He came to uh, following him, obeying him, listening to him. So is it tomorrow? If he's a Yamu should win, then he will go and tell his Yamu to do things, and his Yamu say no. And then the next uh, election, he will come back to and tell the people, is a Yamu is another bad product I brought to you people. I, uh, really people will stone him that time. I don't think people will. Yeah, I don't think people will even want to hear. Yeah, I believe people will because it's like okay, sir, we have heard enough of you. <laughs> we, we, we heard enough of you. <laughs> Oh my God. You want to make fool of somebody, and the person who was respectfully believing you, okay, even when you tell the person you can fly without a wing, and the person believes you and say, okay, oh, sir, just to respect you. And the next time you come to the person and say you can swim without swimming inside the water, the person will say, okay, this kind of thing you are telling me, are you really taking me as a fool? And the person will want to slap you and tell you, see, my brain, I only respected you by accepting the first one you said. Not that I don't know what you are saying. So what is he going to tell the whole world again about this Ayamu, that he is uh, like, uh, a, a thief again? Uh, he cleared, no so no he wisdom. He's, he's no not, wisdom. I don't think he's using his wisdom at all. I don't uh, no think wisdom. So. No wisdom at all. I don't think he's using no wisdom. his wisdom at all. Or it doesn't make any on the people that advise him, because some of the things you see about politicians, well, let's, let's look at it this way. Sometimes, these politicians make some of these mistakes based on people who are advising them, surrounding them. Because the people surrounding them is like governors, uh, president. The people surrounding them want to maintain their job. They are not like you and me that are independent that will say it as it is. So when those people... Uh, anything he says, or he, they, they will say yes, sir, yes, sir, and he believe the people because the people want to tell the, them what they make them happy, okay. and because the people tell them what makes them happy, if you tell them no, sir, that thing is wrong, you say oh, so you are among the people opposing me, and he will fire you. So the people don't want to leave; they want to maintain. So anything they say, the people accept. The people tell them they accept. How I wish they will really have advisors that will be sincere to them to tell them that this thing you are doing is not right or this is the way we are telling them he should have they do yeah they should they, have a, a, they a, do have a sincere team that will tell them what is happening in the field now that will help them to take proper proper uh, 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 care of what they are doing because sometimes it's believe on what people tell them and they believe that the people are telling them the right thing because those people don't want to lose their job they don't want to tell them like uh, it's like okay if i may mention if you mention like somebody about like a passenger i think she will tell him and say you get him angry even when you are telling him the truth he doesn't yes. want to so all yes. they need is somebody, sometimes when people criticize them, they should go back and look at that criticism and call the real yes. sincere team. They should have yes. a sincere team and say, I want you to be very honest in telling me the reality of what is happening. That so could have helped them. But all of them are filled with people that tell them what they want to hear, makes them happy, and they continue. And then while the people are crying out here, and the people will tell them, forget about the people. After all, they are not even, they, they just hate you. They don't like you and you believe that is true exactly yeah exactly so other than social media say a political uh ambition in a two state is failing it's uh, yeah it's, it's failing yeah he has failed he has failed uh this idea of trying to use is a to fulfill his political aspiration in the state has failed as well. So there's no way. He should just go look for a job, a better job, and leave peacefully 
and leave politics alone because it's it's outrageous. His behavior is is too outrageous. The, the Nigerian politics, and uh, he he lacks wisdom. He lacks wisdom. What he's doing doesn't make any sense anymore. Uh, he needs to go relax his brain. And even, in national, even in Nigeria, say who oh, nobody trusts Adam Fosumule anymore. Anybody uh, is a, talking to with what he's doing with those uh, basically. Nobody, nobody, uh, he, any word he says to uh, people, nobody sees nobody him as an honest person. Uh, person anymore, Everybody yeah. sees him as somebody uh, who just does things just to get what he wants. Mm. It's either me or no, it's my no. way or no way. That is what I notice him to be. Like, he's somebody that is either my way or no way. And yes. he doesn't work in Nigeria anymore. It's not working for him, it's not working. And Nigerians, yeah, Nigerians are saying no to his uh, uh, wrong ideas, especially this idea of uh, for that reason, corruption embedded in his activities. Nigerian <laughs> politicians should learn to serve the people. If you like, we call it this political revolution happening mm. in the Do state. Nigerians mm. should please emulate what is happening. We don't say you should until you go and carry gun and do all this. No, you have like you have your, you have to stand your ground mm. and say no. No more collecting of money. No more collecting of one one naira and all those things. All we need is this person is doing the right thing. We need this right person. And that is all that will serve Nigeria. And when people, politicians start to see that, people are now not more collecting the money they give to them during election. You will see that Nigeria is going to be changed because so many of them will want to re re be re-elected based on what they have done for the people. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much for having me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I and wish you a very good and successful election. Oba Otokbe. He said, thank you, sir. Thanks for supporting okay, God God bless, God bless, God bless Nigeria. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. All right. Okay. So, Philip Tribal said, uh, this upcoming election in a dual state is like uh, a race between Governor Obaseki and Adaso Shomole. It's not about uh, is there a Yamu and of no Obaseki because the way the, the practicality of the campaign it just shows that uh, at the social media is acting as the candidate. We have been saying this. So the same thing that uh, uh, Philip Shaibu said, I'm going to play this uh, video for you guys. Just listen. Uh, seven to 2000 and, uh, uh, is it 2007, 2011. 2015 and even 2016. Check my results. Nobody have contested election with me, and my winning is just with a slight margin. I have always won with very, very wide margin. I defeated a sitting House of Rep member with over 27,000 votes. A sitting member. So, so comrade, during those days, comrade would tell me to leave my campaign to go and campaign for his new fine son, the Ghani Audu. So, so if I will have to abandon my campaign, courtesy of comrade saying, Philip, I leave your campaign, you will always win. Go and campaign for Ghani Audu. And my name is used to campaign for Ghani Audu. So that will tell you that I am connected with the people. I don't use money for elections. I don't bribe people for election. I don't do money politics. I do my politics is organic. It's a relationship and a pact with the people. And that is why Oshomole cannot defeat me. Even in his word, I will defeat him. Not because I am one superstar, because I have connected to the people. He believes in spending money. He believes in buying people with money. I believe in a relationship with people. And I believe in my handwork. I believe in being the messenger of the people carrying the dividends of democracy to them. Those who can, things we cannot do, going back to tell them, we cannot do this because of X, Y. So I have a connection, and that connection is what is working. And by the grace of God, the grace of God is upon us. The grace of God is upon us. That is the greatest gift a man can have. I have the grace of God. And because I have the grace of God, no, see, God has told me when I go into politics, even when things were very difficult, there's a revelation that I got. God said, Philip, don't worry. Go ahead, I'm with you. If men will not vote for you, I will raise stones 
on that day and they will become men and they will vote for you. And that is why all my elections, they have, have always had the grace of God and have always won over margin. This election is nothing different. And the good news about this is that the governor has grace. His name is Godwin. So you can imagine a governor that has the grace of God and a deputy that has always had the grace of God in all his elections combined. It will be a one-way election. Thank you so much. And more so, more so, this election is between PDP and EPM, not PDP and APC. This election is also not between Governor Baseki and Azeyamo. It's between Governor Baseki and Adanso Shomole that is not in the ballot. So can you vote for a man that is not in the ballot? So, so it's already a one-way affair. Thank you so much, sir, for your